Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where magic flows like a river, and every flicker of light tells a tale of hope and compassion. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to a quaint little town at the edge of a dense forest, where a mysterious lantern guides the way through acts of kindness and courage. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together with Eleanor, the guardian angel of this humble town, and discover the true power of selflessness and the light that shines even in the darkest times. Follow the light of hope. Discover the magic within. In a quaint little town, nestled at the edge of a dense forest, life moved at a gentle pace. The cobblestone streets were lined with charming, old-fashioned houses, each with its own unique character and story. The town was small enough that everyone knew everyone else, and there was a comforting predictability to the daily routines. In this serene setting lived Eleanor, a young woman with a heart as warm as the bread she helped bake in her family's small bakery. For as long as Eleanor could remember, her parents had been the bakery's owners. Every morning, the smell of freshly cooked cakes, pastries, and bread filled the streets, luring the locals to the bakery like moths to a flame. Despite how modest her life was here, Eleanor liked it. She was proud of the little works of art she created as she kneaded dough and decorated cakes with elaborate motifs. Eleanor was pleased with her regular routine, but she was also drawn to the unknown, curious about what lay beyond the town and the nearby forest. One particularly foggy morning, Eleanor set out early to gather firewood, as the cold was beginning to bite with the approach of winter. The forest, usually so vibrant and full of life, seemed almost otherworldly under the blanket of fog. The mist clung to the trees, and the path ahead was barely visible. Eleanor wrapped her shawl tightly around her shoulders and ventured deeper into the forest, her eyes scanning the ground for fallen branches. As she wandered, her foot caught on something buried beneath the leaves. She stumbled, and when she looked down, she saw a glint of metal peeking through the earthy debris. Curious, she knelt and brushed away the leaves to reveal an old, rusted lantern. It was unlike any lantern she had ever seen, with intricate designs etched into its surface, now faded with age. The metal was cool and rough to the touch, and the glass was clouded, but there was something undeniably captivating about it. Eleanor carefully picked up the lantern, feeling an odd sense of connection to this forgotten object. She wondered how long it had been there, hidden away from the world. Who had it belonged to? What stories could it tell? Intrigued by its peculiar design and ancient look, she decided to take it home. She wrapped it in her shawl to protect it from further damage and made her way back to the town. Back at home, Eleanor placed the lantern on her bedside table. She spent the rest of the day at the bakery, but her mind kept drifting back to the mysterious lantern. As night fell and the town grew quiet, she finally had a moment to herself. She sat on her bed, staring at the lantern, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns etched into the metal. 
she wondered if it still worked, and with a mix of hope and skepticism, she tried to light it. To her disappointment, nothing happened. The lantern remained dark and lifeless. Resigned, Eleanor set the lantern aside and prepared for bed. But just as she was about to blow out the candle on her nightstand, the lantern flickered to life. She gasped, her heart racing as the room was suddenly bathed in a warm, comforting glow. The light was soft and golden, casting gentle shadows on the walls. It was unlike any light she had ever seen, almost magical in its quality. Puzzled but mesmerized, Eleanor watched the lantern intently. It seemed to pulse gently, as if it were alive, breathing. She reached out tentatively, her hand trembling slightly, and felt a soothing warmth emanate from the lantern. The light was both calming and invigorating, filling her with a sense of peace and wonder. She couldn't help but marvel at the transformation of this once forgotten object into a source of light and comfort. As she lay in bed that night, Eleanor's mind buzzed with questions. What had caused the lantern to light up so unexpectedly? Why did it glow with such a unique, comforting light? And most importantly, what was the purpose of this mysterious lantern? She felt a strange but undeniable connection to it, as if it had been waiting for her to find it. In the quiet of her room, with the lantern's warm glow filling the space, Eleanor made a silent promise to herself. She would uncover the secrets of this lantern, no matter what it took. Little did she know, this discovery was the beginning of a journey that would change her life forever, leading her to places and experiences she had never imagined. The lantern, with its magical light, was about to illuminate not just her room, but her entire world. Days turned into weeks, and Eleanor's discovery of the magical lantern faded into the background of her daily life. The bakery continued to demand her attention, with early mornings spent kneading dough and long afternoons serving customers. The lantern, now resting on her bedside table, became just another piece of decor, its peculiar glow a distant memory. Eleanor had almost forgotten the extraordinary night when it first lit up, casting its warm, magical light across her room. One evening, as Eleanor was closing up the bakery, a fierce storm began to brew. Dark clouds rolled in, and the wind howled through the narrow streets, rattling shutters and sending leaves swirling in the air. The storm intensified rapidly, and soon heavy rain began to pour, drumming loudly on the rooftops and turning the streets into rivers of water. Eleanor hurried home her mind occupied with thoughts of securing the windows and making sure the firewood stayed dry. As she settled in for the night, the storm raged outside with unabated fury. Lightning flashed, illuminating the room in brief, blinding bursts, followed by the deafening roar of thunder. Eleanor found it difficult to concentrate on her book, her attention constantly drawn to the chaotic dance of the storm outside. Just as she decided to turn in for the night, the lantern on her bedside table sprang to life with an intense brightness that startled her. The light was far more powerful than the gentle glow she remembered. It filled the room with a radiant, almost urgent energy. 
Confused, Eleanor reached for the lantern, her fingers wrapping around its cool, metallic surface. As she held it, she noticed that the light seemed to be pointing towards the window, almost as if it were directing her attention outside. Curiosity and concern intertwined in her mind as she approached the window, lantern in hand. Peering through the rain-streaked glass, she saw a shadowy figure struggling against the wind and rain. The figure stumbled and fell, then got up again, only to be buffeted by another strong gust of wind. Without a second thought, Eleanor grabbed her coat, slipped on her boots, and took the lantern, its bright light guiding her through the storm. The wind tore at her clothes and hair as she stepped outside, the rain soaking her almost instantly. She made her way towards the struggling figure, her heart pounding in her chest. The lantern's light cut through the darkness and the driving rain, illuminating the path ahead. As she got closer, she saw that the figure was an elderly man, his face pale and etched with exhaustion. Are you all right? Over the thunderous storm, Eleanor called out to him, offering her hand to support him. The man turned to face her, relief and horror mixed together in his eyes. His voice faltered as he said, I've lost my way. I can't. I can't find my way home. Eleanor felt her heart bleed for him. He appeared to be about to pass out, his body trembling from the effort and the cold. Please accompany me, she urged. It's not too far from my house. There, you can relax and get heated. Supporting him with one arm and holding the lantern high with the other, Eleanor guided the man back to her home. The journey was slow and arduous, the storm making every step a challenge. But finally, they reached the safety of her front door. Once inside, Eleanor quickly stoked the fire, wrapping the man in a warm blanket and helping him to a chair near the hearth. As the elderly man began to thaw out and regain his strength, Eleanor prepared a hot meal for him. The aroma of soup filled the room, mingling with the comforting warmth of the fire. She placed a steaming bowl in front of him and watched as he gratefully accepted it, his hands still shaking slightly. Thank you, he murmured between spoonfuls. I don't know what I would have done without your help. Eleanor smiled, her curiosity piqued. What were you doing out there in such terrible weather? She asked gently. The man sighed, his eyes reflecting deep sorrow. I've been searching for my grandson. He went missing a few days ago, and I've been looking for him ever since. I thought I might find him near the forest, but I lost my way in the storm. Eleanor felt a pang of empathy for the man. She couldn't imagine the despair he must have felt, searching for his lost family in such dire conditions. As she listened to his story, she realized that the lantern had led her to him in his moment of need. Its light had guided her to someone who needed help, just as it had the first time it had lit up in her room. The storm continued to rage outside, but inside, the warmth and light of the fire, along with the lantern's gentle glow, created a haven of comfort and hope. Eleanor knew that the lantern was more than just an old, rusted relic. It was a beacon of light in the darkest times guiding her to those in need.
And in that moment, she understood that her life had a new purpose. To follow the light, wherever it might lead, and to help those it illuminated. The lantern's light appeared sporadically over the following weeks, its glow a sudden, bright signal in the midst of Eleanor's routine life. Each time it illuminated, it signaled someone in distress, and Eleanor, driven by an unexplainable sense of duty, followed its guidance without hesitation. The first instance occurred on a cold, misty morning. Eleanor was preparing bread dough in the bakery when the lantern, resting in the corner of the room, flickered to life. Its light shone intensely, pointing towards the window. Eleanor's heart quickened. She understood now that this was a call to action. She grabbed her coat and the lantern and followed the light through the fog-draped streets. The light led her to a frantic mother, tears streaming down her face as she searched for her missing child. The woman had lost sight of her little boy in the morning's fog, and panic had set in. Eleanor, guided by the lantern's unwavering beam, ventured into the park where the boy had last been seen. There, huddled behind a large oak tree, was the child, scared but unharmed. Reuniting mother and child brought a warmth to Eleanor's heart, a feeling of deep satisfaction and purpose. A few days later, the lantern glowed once more, this time as Eleanor was closing up the bakery for the night. The light pointed towards the outskirts of town. She found a young man, distraught, and calling out for his lost dog. His pet had run off during their evening walk, and darkness had swallowed the little animal. Eleanor, with the lantern's guidance, walked the nearby fields and woods. The lantern's beam finally revealed the dog, trapped in a thicket, whimpering, but otherwise safe. The young man's gratitude was overwhelming, and Eleanor felt the now familiar lightness in her heart grow stronger. The lantern's call came again during a rainy afternoon. This time, it guided Eleanor to an old woman who wandered the streets, looking lost and confused. She spoke of a long-lost friend she had not seen in decades. They had been separated during a time of turmoil, and the old woman had never given up hope of finding her. Eleanor, feeling the depth of the woman's loneliness, used the lantern's light to search through the town's quiet corners. Miraculously, they found the friend living in a nearby village, unaware that anyone was still searching for her. The reunion was bittersweet and beautiful, and it taught Eleanor about the enduring power of hope and friendship. With each act of kindness, Eleanor's heart grew lighter, and she started to understand the true meaning of compassion and selflessness. She learned that helping others not only eased their burdens, but also enriched her own soul. The lantern had become more than just a tool. It was a symbol of the light that kindness and empathy could bring into the world. One day, the lantern shone brighter than ever before, its light almost blinding in its intensity. It illuminated a path deep into the forest, far beyond the familiar trails. Eleanor, driven by a sense of duty and curiosity, followed the light into the dense woods. The path was narrow and overgrown, and the further she ventured, the darker it seemed to become, to 
despite the lantern's glow. Eventually, she came upon a small, abandoned cottage, its windows broken and door hanging ajar. Inside, she found a young girl sitting on the floor, crying and hugging her knees. The girl looked up, her face streaked with tears and dirt, her eyes wide with fear. Eleanor approached her gently, the lantern's light casting a warm glow around them. What's your name? she asked softly. The girl sniffled and wiped her nose. Lily, she replied in a small voice. Eleanor sat beside her, wrapping an arm around her shoulders. Why are you here all alone, Lily? Lily explained that she had run away from a nearby orphanage. She felt unloved and unwanted, believing that no one cared about her. The harsh environment and the absence of affection had driven her to seek refuge in the lonely woods. Eleanor's heart ached for the girl. She remembered her own childhood, filled with love and warmth, and couldn't imagine growing up without it. She promised Lily that she would help her find a loving home, a place where she would be cherished and cared for. Taking Lily under her wing, Eleanor brought her back to the town. She spoke with the local authorities and the orphanage, advocating for the girl and ensuring she was placed in a foster home with a kind, nurturing family. As Lily settled into her new home, the lantern's light dimmed to a gentle glow, a signal that its work was done for now. Through these experiences, Eleanor realized that the lantern's light was not just a beacon for those in need, but also a guide for her own growth and understanding. Each mission taught her valuable lessons about the strength of the human spirit, the importance of compassion, and the profound impact of selfless acts. The lantern had illuminated more than just her path. It had illuminated her heart, filling it with the true power of hope and kindness. As time went on, Eleanor's reputation as the town's guardian angel spread far and wide. The townspeople, once accustomed to the small miseries and occasional despair of daily life, began to see their world in a different light. Eleanor's acts of kindness, guided by the magical lantern, became tales told in the cozy corners of the bakery, at the town's fountain, and during evening gatherings around the hearth. Eleanor herself was transformed by these experiences. Her once quiet and routine life was now filled with purpose and a profound sense of connection to those around her. The lantern, which had started as a mysterious relic, had become a powerful symbol of hope for the entire town. People began to believe that as long as the lantern existed, there would always be light to guide them through their darkest moments. The lantern's light did not appear every day, but when it did, it was an event that captured the town's attention. Each illumination was a beacon, calling Eleanor to action and the town to a state of hopeful anticipation. Children would run to tell their parents, and neighbors would gather, whispering and watching as Eleanor set off on another mission. Eleanor's unselfish deeds led the town's residents to start watching out for one another more. They fostered a sense of community that had been lacking, helped those in need, and shared their resources more freely. Once 
merely a location to purchase bread and pastries. The bakery evolved into a center of generosity and support, with Eleanor frequently at its core, willing to offer assistance or sympathetic ear. One night, as Eleanor was finishing up the day's work at the bakery, the lantern glowed with an unparalleled brilliance. It was a light unlike any she had seen before, not just bright, but radiant, filling the room with a golden hue that seemed to vibrate with energy. Eleanor felt a surge of emotion, a profound sense of purpose that brought tears to her eyes. She knew this was a significant moment, one that carried a deeper meaning. Holding the lantern, Eleanor stepped outside, its light cutting through the night like a beacon. As she walked through the town, she noticed that the light seemed to touch everything, making the familiar streets and buildings look almost magical. The townspeople, seeing the extraordinary glow, followed her, their faces lit with curiosity and hope. Eleanor realized that the lantern had not just been guiding her to help others, but also teaching her about the power of hope. With each mission, she had learned that even in the darkest times, a single act of kindness could illuminate the path forward. She understood now that the lantern's true magic lay not in its light, but in the hope it inspired within her and those she helped. As she walked, the crowd behind her grew, people whispering and holding on to each other. They walked through the town, past the bakery, the school, the park, and finally to the edge of the forest. Here, Eleanor stopped, and the crowd gathered around her, the lantern's light reflecting in their wide eyes. Eleanor, an elderly woman said, her voice trembling with emotion. What does the lantern want us to do? Eleanor looked at the woman, and then at the faces around her. She saw in them the same hope and determination that she felt. The lantern has shown us the way, she said softly, but confidently. It has taught us that in every act of kindness, we find light. We must continue to help one another, to spread this light, and keep hope alive. The crowd murmured in agreement, their spirits lifted by her words. They understood now that the lantern's light was a symbol of their collective strength and compassion. As long as they worked together, supported each other, and believed in the power of kindness, they could overcome any darkness. And so, Eleanor continued her journey, guided by the lantern, spreading hope and kindness wherever she went. The townspeople followed her example, their lives interwoven with acts of generosity and compassion. They became a community bound by more than just proximity. They were united by a shared belief in the power of hope. Eleanor knew that as long as there was even a flicker of light, despair could never truly take hold. The lantern's magic was not in its ability to shine, but in its power to inspire. Each time it lit up, it reminded everyone that hope was a beacon in itself, capable of guiding them through any storm. And so, the light of the lantern, and the hope it embodied, continued to illuminate their lives, casting away shadows, and filling their hearts with a radiant, enduring light. Dear listeners, May your dreams be filled with the light of hope and 
your heart with the warmth of compassion. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully, knowing that even in the darkest times, a single act of kindness can illuminate the path forward. Until we meet again for another enchanting adventure, rest well.